Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of my Mixcraft tutorial series. In the last tutorial, I covered the basics of Mixcraft and how to navigate. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make a song using the instrumental tracks, or virtual instruments. Now instead of just throwing all the information at you on how to use Mixcraft, I'm going to show you by doing. That means that I'm going to teach you guys how to use Mixcraft through creating songs. So we will be creating uh, a song with the virtual instruments and hopefully that will cover the features of Mixcraft or most of them. So first thing I'm going to do is double click to add a new uh, I would call this a uh, instrument box. So right now it's one measure that's by default. And here you go you have four, you have four beats this is a virtual keyboard. Um, it's about nine octaves, which uh, you don't need to use every octave, but um, it is really nice how, uh, how much they give you. And you can change um, the size of how much you want to see by clicking the uh, magnifying glasses here, the plus and minus, and also um, how much you want to see on uh, the horizontal view. So Let's start by selecting the uh, note tool. You can press the little icon right here. There's uh, the cursor, the pencil, and then there's the eraser. There are a couple hotkeys for this. Um, of course, select notes is Q, and then W is notes, and then the eraser is E. So it's uh, the first three notes and the uh, first three letters, sorry, on the keyboard. So we're going to add a note. We'll start on C. So all you have to do to add a note is just left click and you can change the duration of the note up here on this bar. You have all these um, different icons. This is the um, longest note, of course. This is four beats, which is a whole measure in this case. And I'm going to extend the uh, loop end to eight measures. This is a, a decent length. This is what most songs are at. So we have this note. All right, so let's try coming up with a tune. So I'm going to select the eighth note. Just for a sample, I'm going to create something here really quick. Okay, so I have this little section right here, and I'm just going to select it all. Control C, which will copy it all, or you can do Control A, which selects it all. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to do control V to paste it and uh, right now I have um, a snap lock on and now it's on uh, 64th notes which is very very fine I don't need that right now so I'm going to change it to 8th so um, it's a lot uh, easier and quicker to uh, lock my notes and I'm going to paste this again one more time to leave that there alright I'm going to add a second instrument to this. See what we can do here. So if we play this now. Now that did sound a little bit weird uh, and because it sounded so weird because um, I was using the same notes and it's the same sound and it sounds kind of boring so we can change it by pressing the keyboard right here and we have a whole list of instruments here. I'm going to go to the synth section. We can try mixing this up a bit by changing the left and right speakers so this tool right here you can change the uh, panning level I'm going to make this 160, 60, about 60% um, right, and then this one's going to be about 60% left. So when we play it, um, you're going to hear the left and right speakers changing, which does help for uh, when you're mixing your songs together. All right, so that's cool. So let me add some effects to the second track. So you press the little FX button there, and you have a list of effects. Um, these are uh, pro, some of these are pro effects, so I'm not going to go over there. 
um, go over this section, but I will go over, let's say, this uh, flanger effect. This is um, a cool effect. So you have some presets here that um, acu Acoustica made already, but uh, I'm just gonna go press edit over here so we, uh, I can edit it customly. And I can add a little bit of delay, um, some feedback, the rate that it uh, has a little like whammy sound to it. All right, so after it finishes the uh, first eight measures, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna copy all this and I'm going to paste it. Now, you have to make sure when you copy um, tracks that you paste it correctly. So if I copy this top, uh, these top three tracks and then um, I select the second track and then I paste it, it's going to add an extra track. So you don't want to do that. You want to always start from the top track. So when you paste it, it um, pastes it correctly. So we don't need that third one. We're going to stick with the second one. And at the uh, ninth measure, we are going to change the tempo of the song. So all you have to do is just double click on the uh, up here on this gray bar. And then it will load up this marker box. And you can change um, a lot of the features. I'm going to slow up. I'm going to slow down the song to uh, 100 beats per minute. And I'm going to title this uh, Tempo Change. And change the color just for fun to green. And there you go. And, and it automatically has changed the speed of the song. So by default, you have this flag um, at the start. It's kind of hard to see, but they automatically have one place for you. Um, they, they already have uh, it titled Start and then the default tempo. And here's the new one. So you can have a lot of fun with this and do this to all your songs. We can do uh, just a few more things. There, so you guys know about the effects already. Uh, you can change the volume of the tracks by this middle line here. It has two dots on the end. You can add, um, these, these are basically uh, the range points where uh, it'll start changing the range. Now you can change um, the volumes by just clicking and dragging the dots and you can add new ones just by clicking anywhere on the line and it automatically adds a new one. You can move them around. So if I want the volume to get quieter I can just uh, lower it here and then if I do this for all three of them. So this is uh, very useful for when you're creating fading effects or um, trying to create, create very authentic sounds when using orchestral instruments. So that is an example of what you can do with the virtual instruments. So thanks a lot guys for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And in my next tutorial I will be covering how to create um, orchestral uh, instrumental sounds and just creating some nice uh, intense pieces using um, an orchestra. So. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.